Do you want to know if the Stream Deck is worth it in 2021? Well, you came to the right place. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Eli here with Eli's Tech Review, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Elgato Stream Deck. If you are new here, my name is Eli, and I make tech reviews about electronics and their accessories. I go more in depth about what things do and how they function in the product. My goal for you when clicking on an ETR video is to help you learn about the product and also how to use it. Here's the comment of the week. Let's get straight into the video. Elgato currently has three different forms of the Stream Deck. Elgato made the Mini, Regular, and XL Stream Deck. The Stream Deck Mini has six programmable buttons, the Regular Stream Deck has 15, and the XL has 32. The Elgato Stream Deck Mini has a price tag of $79. The regular Stream Deck price tag is $150. The XL Stream Deck has a price tag of $250. US the Elgato Stream Deck is used in a wide variety of scenarios. The Stream Deck is mostly used by streamers, hence the name Stream Deck. You can do several things with the Stream Deck. You can program the Stream Deck to have a record and or stream button. The stream button is linked directly to your Twitch or YouTube. The streamer record button is linked to OBS. You can change OBS scenes, mute your mic, and use voice modification apps, and much more. The Stream Deck can also be used as a macro pad. If you have Nano Leaf, Elgato Key Lights, or Philips Hue Bulbs, you can control them with your Stream Deck. If you are in theater or lighting, you can use the Stream Deck to program and adjust attributes to your DMX light. Personally, I use it to set timers and short, make shortcuts to apps and things like that. With the Stream Deck, you can make folders such as these. This is the folder I use for OBS. So I have the um, my starting screen and like these are my different scenes that I have set up here. Um, and you can also put different images on each one of them, which is very nice. Here's the start stream button right here, and here is the record button. These can all be programmed to your liking. Whatever you want can be programmed into this. I have the regular stream deck, so I have 15 buttons on mine. I really love my stream deck. It's awesome. It's very handy when I need to do something quickly, like open an app on my computer. I have several different apps um, linked in right here to my computer, such as Google Chrome, Call of Duty Black Ops, come on, you gotta have it. The Adobe Creative Cloud and a few of the apps from that. Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, and uh, Media Encoder. Then I also have Audacity, then Streamlabs OBS, Elgato, Game Capture, and then, and then Wondershare Filmora, which I don't use anymore. It's also a really nice feature that they have to where you can set timers in here, so like, in, I had Zoom classes this past year, so I had to be online for school. Uh, I could set timers for when the class would end and like if I had a break in between. So I could just press the button and it would set a timer and start counting down. If you would like to see more videos like this, please consider dropping a like on this video. Also consider subscribing to help us reach our goal of 100 subscribers. I will be starting a new thing where I pick a positive comment from the comment section. And it will be featured in the next video. Also, here's the Instagram. Follow this if you'd like updates on ETR. Also, you can follow the Discord if you'd like. Everything I just mentioned will be linked in the description. Once you get your Stream Deck, you will need to download the Stream Deck app from Elgato. There will be a link in the description to that also. Using this app, you can control your Stream Deck. You can make it do shortcuts, folders, and commands. Elgato actually came out with a mobile app called Stream Deck. It is called Stream Deck Mobile. This is the budget option for having a Stream Deck. This app is compatible with Android and iOS. This app essentially turns your phone into a mini Stream Deck. The app is equipped with 15 buttons. The app is completely wireless to your computer, which is a nice feature. Stream Deck Mobile is a subscription plan. It costs $2.99 a month, or you can get it for $25 a year. Personally, I would recommend purchasing the Elgato Stream Deck if you have the extra spare cash to do so. You shouldn't go for the extra large 32 key Stream Deck unless you absolutely have to do so. I don't recommend the XL due to its price point of $250 because all Stream Decks are 
technically the same. Even if you have six buttons on your Stream Deck, you can still make unlimited folders. So you can make folders inside of folders if you wanted to. It would just be more convenient to have 32 buttons on your Stream Deck. So the Mini is the best buy in my opinion. If you would like to purchase a Stream Deck, all links are in the description. Also, those links are not Amazon affiliate links, so I do not make a commission off of any sales of the product. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and tell me in the comments if I should make more videos like this in the future. Apart from that, remember I get you what you need for what you want. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.